Megan from the garden. It's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today is harvest day for my big market this weekend. I am so excited to see everything that I pull out of the garden today. I really just hope I have enough. Um, so I am pretty much going to be harvesting the entire garden today. All of my dahlias, this whole bed of celosia, all of my zinnias because I need as much as possible for this huge market this weekend. Uh, like I mentioned in my last video, the market I'm doing is the Made and Found Midwest Market this weekend in Anthem, Iowa. It is made up of makers, pickers, bakers, um, refurbishers. Everything has to be handmade, homegrown, repurposed. So it is just a really unique, one of a kind market. And last year I sold out very quickly. So my goal this year is to make my product last longer. So today's Thursday, I'll be harvesting today. Tomorrow on Friday, I will be assembling all of my jelly jars and my wrapped bouquets. And then the market is Saturday. So before I start harvesting, I just want to walk you guys around the garden and show you everything that I'll be cutting today. So the first thing that I'm going to start harvesting this morning is this entire bed of celosia. I have a lot of flamingo feather. I have a lot of the Selway series. And the reason I'm harvesting this first as the later it gets in the morning, the more bugs that I find on these um, wasps, bees. And I have been stung this year, so I wanna try to avoid that if possible today. So this is the bed that I'm starting with and every single piece of celosia that is ready to harvest, I am cutting today. So I'm hoping to get a good couple buckets. So across from my celosia is my first patch of dahlias, which you can see they're all covered with these organza bags. I have quite a few that are ready to go. Some I can see maybe need another day or so, which is totally fine because I can come out here tomorrow morning and finish harvesting. I've also been harvesting off of these throughout the week. So I have an entire bucket of dahlias already in the fridge, which is awesome. And yesterday I actually went to another neighboring flower farm in the area and picked up a bucket of dahlias just because I was nervous I wasn't going to quite have enough. So I did get a couple bunches from her. They're absolutely beautiful. So I will be utilizing those either in my wrapped bouquets and jelly jars as well. Um, but I think between what is ready today and what will be ready by tomorrow in this patch and my other patch, I should have plenty of dahlias. So I'm also going to be harvesting my Rubecchia this morning. I have not harvested from this patch for a good couple weeks. Um, about two weeks ago, I completely deadheaded this whole patch and fertilized it in the hopes that it would somewhat rejuvenate so I could have some extra blooms for the market. And I'd say it's looking pretty darn good. In fact, this cluster right here there are buds everywhere. Now, of course, those will not be ready by the weekend, um, but I will be able to enjoy those for next week's market. But I do have a lot of blooms more than usual um, to pick, which will be perfect. So I'm gonna be harvesting out everything that's ready in this Rebecca area too. And I am kind of surprised I'm even saying this, but I have snapdragons to harvest. Probably about a month ago, I came through this whole patch and completely deadheaded this with hopes that I may get a few more blooms. I'd say there's quite a few in here and there are a lot that are butted up. So I should have those for next week's market also. Um, but there's quite a few that I can pick today from this side and the other side of the greenhouse. And then behind me, let me show you my zinnia patch. That is full of zinnias to harvest. All right, so I am in the middle of my zinnia patch that is exploding with blooms, which is perfect. Two weeks ago, I came through and completely deadheaded this entire patch with the hopes that it would rejuvenate. It definitely did. I'm hoping to get at least 100 blooms out of this minimum, I, and I don't think that should be a problem. Some of them I can see maybe don't look quite ready, but maybe tomorrow or even early Saturday morning I could harvest a few more, but I think I'm gonna get a really good harvest out of this area today. All right, there's a couple more spots in this area of the garden I wanna show you quick, and then I wanna show you the cottage garden area where I will also be picking from. So most of the things that are growing on this side of the garden are done for the year, but I do have this really nice patch of Dusty Miller I will be cutting all of this and these will be the fillers in some of my jelly jar arrangements. And then if I pan up, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys here. 
I have this nice patch of Dara that was seeded mid-season. I'm going to be cutting from this as well. Now this patch, you can definitely tell, has been harvested out. This is where all of my sunflowers were. I've harvested those throughout the week and they are in the fridge. I do have a few mini sunflowers that might be ready to harvest. I'll have to check on them. Um, but mainly my sunflowers are done and what I have is in the fridge. The last area in this part of the garden that I'm cutting today is this long bed here. In front of me is status, and I'll have quite a few stems to cut from that. Um, not a ton, this is starting to slow down for the season. I've been cutting off of it for a couple months now. My ageratum behind me is really thickening up, so I'm cutting everything from that. And behind the ageratum is a little feverfew patch, which I don't know that there will be very many to cut from that, but it's been flushing a bunch of new green growth, and I'm wondering with these cooler temperatures in the next month, maybe I'll get another flush of uh, the fever few. So anyway, we'll see what I get out of this area. I knew that this particular spot wasn't going to be a mass of flowers, but that's okay. I have plenty of other fillers to use. So I want to take you on the outside of the fence to my cottage garden area because I have quite a few things to harvest out there too. All right, so we're outside of the fence. This is my cottage garden area. It may not look like much, but there is a lot to harvest in this spot. So first of all, I have quite a few of Rebecca in the front here. Um, there's also some Rebecca in another area that I will show you. I may have a few Echinacea. We'll see what they look like. It's definitely the end of the season for those. But the star out here is this red spike amaranth. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be harvesting all of this and they will be one of the focal pieces in my wrapped bouquets. The other thing that I am really excited to harvest out here is this Celosia. Now, these were seedlings that I bought from a local garden center. I bought them last year and they worked amazing as filler. This dark foliage is great. So I made sure to get them again this year and I have this area. Um, if we pan up, you can see my trellis over here. Behind that, there is another area of the Celosia foliage and I have a bed of it at home. I'm going to be harvesting all of this out and this will be the filler let me focus here on it. This dark foliage will be the filler in all of my wrapped bouquets. So as we move down the bed, I have a few more Rubecchia. All of these gold marigolds will get harvested. And then just past that is a little area of Gomfrino that pretty much got covered by my pumpkin vines, but there will be some usable stems in there. I also will need to double check my pumpkin patch that I harvested the other day. I know that there are some more pumpkins ready, so I need to make sure to snag those before Saturday as well. All right, I better get to harvesting because I have a ton to do. I will set up the camera and do some close-up shots as I am harvesting so you guys can see what I am cutting. But at the end of this video, I will go through all of my buckets and show you up close everything that I harvested out of the garden.
Okay, so it's about one o'clock. Everything is harvested. That didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would. I didn't know if it would take me into the afternoon, um, which it worked out perfectly because it's about 65 degrees out now. So I did get it done during the cool part of the day. Um, but anyway, one of the beautiful things that I harvested was this Dusty Miller. Now these were some um, side shoots that grew at the base of some of the main plants. And so I thought, well, I'm going to clip these because some of these will be excellent accents in those little jelly jar arrangements. I mean, you got to use everything possible, right? So anyway, now that everything is harvested, I just want to show you guys every single bucket that I have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera focused on this table and I will show you a close up of every bucket that I have harvested. And let me tell you, there is a lot and I am so excited. All right, so here is the first bucket. This is that celosia that I was talking about that I bought as a seedling that I'm using as a filler in these little jelly jar arrangements. So I have this bucket. I also have this bucket, so I should have plenty, which is fantastic. Then I have one bucket of Dusty Miller. I have a second bucket of Dusty Miller. Then I have one bucket of Selway Celosia. This is the terracotta color. I can't remember what this color is. Uh, maybe just Selway Red. It might be a different one, but either way, these are beautiful. Then I have an entire bucket of this color. Then I have another bucket of Celosia of the Flamingo Feather. Um, this is the Selway White. This is um, a pompous plume of some sort. And then some of these, which I can't remember what these are called. Now I also do have some Dara and some Cosmos in here. Then I have a bucket of Rubecchia of all different kinds. And there are some Rubecchia still out there to pick. I wanted to give them another day just to make sure their stems were stable. I have a bucket of Ageratum and Status. And again, there's a little more out there. I wanted to give a little bit more time. I have a few more Rubecchia and then some Marigolds. These will be a really pretty pop of color. I have one bucket of various Gomphrina for accents, which a bucket is pretty good for this because these got taken over by my pumpkin vines. So I'm surprised that I have this much. Then look at this. Oh my gosh. I have all of this red spike amaranth. These are going to be a center focal in those wrapped bouquets. And then I have some mahogany splendor hibiscus. How pretty is that foliage? Then I have a few of these um, from my house. I think they're a type of heliopsis. I have about 30 or so of the queen lime zinnias. Then I have the Benary's Giant Zinnias and more Benary's Giant Zinnias. These are going to be absolutely beautiful. Then I have a bucket of sunflowers and let me show you what is in my fridge. Oh, and I also forgot over by my fridge here, I have a bucket of goldenrod. And then this second bucket is shorter golden, golden rod for my jelly jars. And then let's take a peek in my little mini fridge. In there, I have a bunch of dahlias and some snapdragons. And in my large fridge, I have a bucket of sunflowers, some miscellaneous shorter dahlias. I have another bucket of dahlias, and at the top, a few short dahlias back in the corner. So I am absolutely thrilled with that harvest. I should be able to hit my goal for sure of 80 of the jelly jars and 16 of the wrapped bouquets. I may even get some extra jars ready today in case tomorrow morning I have more dahlias ready than I think. And then I might even be able to make more than 80 of those little jelly jars. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna do next. I also need to price all my pumpkins. So that is going to conclude this video. The next video that you guys will see will be filmed tomorrow on Friday and Saturday. I'll be putting all my arrangements together, my bouquets together. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm setting up my structures for the market, um, my tent, tables, and all of that. And then Saturday, I will go to the market. So. 
I will try to film as much footage as possible to share with you guys. So that will be the third video out of this series. So anyway, stay tuned for a lot more. I'm so excited to see how the weekend goes. We'll see you soon.